Today we're going to spend some time with the Cokeville Hospital District uh, visiting with Star Valley Medical Center here. Uh, we're going to be visiting with Kenny Peterson in the center, he's the chairman. Susan Fiscus to our left, uh, the secretary, and Mary Hume, our trustee, uh, representing uh, the trustees for the Cokeville Hospital District. Uh, welcome to all of you here at Star Valley Medical Center. Thanks. Thank you. Well, let's start uh, with a little bit of history. Uh, Kenny, uh, tell us about the history of the Cokeville Hospital District, how it evolved, and uh, Susan and Mary, you're welcome to uh, step in any time. Well, I believe several years ago, the uh, Chamber of Commerce got the idea that we needed to have a clinic in town and uh, they formed a hospital board, a pre-hospital board, uh, asked me to be a part of that uh, just to kind of investigate whether or not there would be enough interest in our community to uh, have a tax to uh, support a hospital district and after some investigation and some time and some research we felt that there was enough interest, we had it put on the ballot last November and uh, we had overwhelming support from the, the citizens in the area. I believe 80, over 80 percent of the uh, community was in favor of, of forming this district. Obviously a lot of interest in, in good health care for the community. And yes. The residents. Yes. So you took it from there. Uh, we are visiting with Kenny Peterson, chairman of the Copeville Hospital District, along with Susan Fiscus, uh, secretary, Mary Hume, uh, trustee for the board there. Um, let's take it from there. Uh, it was passed and where did you go from there? Well, we needed to make a decision at that point who uh, would be our provider. We needed uh, someone that would be able to take us by the hand and give us the support and uh, you know everything that we needed to make the, the, the clinic successful. And uh, we had some good choices to choose from. It kind of came down to Bear Lake Memorial Hospital or Star Valley Medical Center. Uh, we did some research with uh, those two hospitals, felt that they were both very uh, capable of uh, fulfilling our needs, and uh, we came away for various reasons wanting Star Valley Medical Center to give us that needed support. Let's uh, continue, and uh, Susan, if we can have you add to that, and Mary be thinking about uh, how you'll step in there too, uh, addressing the history and the progress of healthcare in Cokeville and, and the opportunities now before we uh, move over to Charlie Button, CEO of Star Valley Medical Center, and have him add to that. Uh, so Susan, uh, Susan Fiscus, Secretary of the Cokeville Hospital District, your, your thoughts on this? Well, I wanted to add one thing to what Kenny said. The county commissioners were really instrumental in helping us to get that on the ballot. Um, there was a lot of help on that end. They, they've really kind of supported us in, in getting this going to have more, you know, a business, a viable business in Cokeville. And so that's been really good that way. Um, and like Kenny said, just kind of came down to what felt the right thing to do, and it yeah. felt like the right thing to do was to go with Star Valley. So you're progressing now. Uh, Mary, uh, uh, your thoughts as a trustee representing the Cokeville Hospital District? Uh, I just think, um, you know, there's been a lot of new families that have moved into Cokeville the last few, year, few years, um, mine being one of them, lots of young little kids, and we just feel like it's really important that we act for ourselves, and I think most of these new families, and lots of other families too, were bound and determined to get a, a clinic. It's important that there's one in Cokeville for all these little kids, and the older population as well. It's just a really important thing for all the community members to have. We're with the Cokeville Hospital District, Kenny Peterson, Chairman, Susan Fiscus, Secretary, Mary Hume, Trustee. Let's move now to uh, Charlie Button. He's our CEO of Star Valley Medical Center. Charlie, we'll let you uh, step in now here and, and sure. tie it into Star Valley Medical Center. Okay, well, thank you for the time. Uh, you know, I, I guess for, from our perspective, uh, you know, we were very excited when we found that uh, Number one, that the Cokeville area was looking at a hospital district because it's a, a you know, a, a hard area as far as population to justify uh, for, say, Star Valley to go in there without any kind of a tax subsidy in order to support the clinic. Um, but the way this worked out, you know, having a tax subsidy, it really provided us the opportunity to, to bid on this, uh, you know, the proposal that the Cokeville Hospital District put together. And uh, the bottom line, I guess, it's just that we do care for people and we want to see the health care needs met. Uh, you know, they are part of the same county that we are. And uh, so we just see it's, it's, you know, a natural progression for us to do that. We do have 
uh, you know, some other outlying clinics in Thane and, and Alpine, and we're going to mirror this clinic uh, in, in Cokeville with uh, the, the very similar to like our Alpine clinic, and we do have, uh, you know, all the systems in place to, to do this, and so we just feel that we can offer the expertise uh, into the Cokeville area. So again, we're, we're very excited about this uh, partnership that we have with Cokeville uh, Hospital District. Well, with that being said, any concluding comments, uh, Kenny, uh, Susan, or Mary from the Cokeville Hospital District? I'd just like to say that uh, we are really excited about the potential that we have, and we are very appreciative of, of Charlie and Stargon Medical Center for the help that they've given us getting to this point. We've seen a lot of doors open, and, and it really looks like uh, this can, can uh, be successful. If we can get the community behind us and support it, we feel like this can really be a good thing, but we really want to give Starlight Medical Center uh, credit for helping us to, to, to get to the point that we're at right now. All right, thank you. Cokeville Hospital District, Kenny Peterson, Chairman, Susan Fiscus, Secretary, Mary Hume, trustee, and Charlie Button, Star Valley Medical Center CEO.